Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungani Titan, and I was hoping by the time I'd have this video released that I would uh, actually have completed the grind for the E75. I'm about 16,000 or maybe 18,000 points away from actually eliting the E75, and I'm not just sure if I'd be too fond of the E100, but I love the E75. Um, the main reason that I haven't managed to complete it is that I bit off more than I could chew uh, with my um, Valkyria Chronicles video. And I chanced a video that is slightly in excess of half an hour and bloody thing still hasn't uploaded. It's now 6 o'clock on Thursday evening and um, it's still only like 70% of the way. So. It's possible that this video will be up on Friday, uh, but it's not necessarily likely that this video will be up on Friday. It might actually be Saturday before it's up. However, I hope you'll forgive me and that you will bear with me in a little bit of patience. So, what do I say about it? Well, I think it's an extremely forgiving and reliable tier 9 tank. Um, the line on leading up to it isn't... This is definitely the best tank in the line. I mean, they they all have their they're all good tanks when you get to the top tier, but most of them are pretty soft in the armor. They're, you will find the enemies penetrate the armor. Tiger, the Tiger Two, um, the various tanks before that as well. The um, the armor will be easily penetrated, and what really makes the tanks in many respects is the the armor is usually not too bad. But the guns are great, the guns are usually really good, and the mobility is usually pretty good. But this tank uh, has be the best armour of the lot in terms of its actual practical effectiveness. Uh, it's a very forgiving tank I find, very capable. Now, that said, you can get it in the wrong situation there. If I had stayed facing off against that Conqueror, side scraping, I would have lost the fight, because... I would have found it nearly impossible to penetrate the Conqueror's turret. Um, commander's hatch shot in the Conqueror is possible, but it's probably one of the hardest Commander's hatch shots in the game. Um, and he was giving me no um, lower front plates. The upper front places, I wasn't going to penetrate it at all. So the thing is that any mistake I made, he would be able to capitalize on it, whereas his opportunity for making mistakes were a lot fewer than mine. Um, I was going to make mistakes, I was going to pull back sometimes a little too far, show a little bit too front, uh, too much of my lower front plate, and he would get the opportunity to put shots through it, even if he bounced a lot of them. Whereas, if he stayed where he was and what he was doing, he was, I was going to get no chance of doing the same thing back to him, so I was much better off moving out here. Now we have VK4502B, who has seemed to think that if his turret is hidden, his tank is hidden, but he's actually now finally pulled back after taking a couple of rounds from my gun. So the gun here is a very punchy gun. Now I am mixing and matching here between uh, premium and regular ammo. The thing about this gun is that a lot of the time you don't need to use premium ammo. Um, the regular ammo works perfectly fine. Um, but it can be worth, if you want to really make an impact sometimes in the game, just spending the money and um, firing out the good stuff because you know it's, it is more reliable and um, especially trying to punch to the front of the VK4502. There's a Yag Tiger around the corner as well, which would be challenging to get rounds to the front of it. But in general, um, this is an excellent tank, and we need to clean up this corner because the enemy is starting to win at the um, cap circle. Now I made another mistake there, I should have taken the time, the Yag Tiger was unaware of my presence really. I should have taken the extra half a second or so to actually aim in and try and go for the tracks. Now he did face me, but he changed his mind and decided that um, facing me in a Type 5 Heavy was probably not the best moves he could make. Now I left him for the Type 5 Heavy to finish off because I'm looking at the situation down at the cap and I said that I need to go down there and intervene. And while I'm on the way down, uh, I think, yeah, this is easily like, it's the best of um, the, the German line. I came up through the VK 
3001H and VK3601H and Pro 2H, I can't remember. Up through the Tiger on that uh, path to this, and I think uh, this is easily the best tank in the whole line. Um, and I've enjoyed most of them um, on the way up to varying degrees. I think the Tiger 1 itself is probably the next best. Um, but this is this is possibly, I think, my favourite tier 9 in many respects um, of all of them that I've played. This is the one I have found easiest to play. Um, because the combination of armour and gun I think is just unparalleled. I don't think any other tier 9... The, the ST1 is another tank that I'm really fond of for the really, really good armour that it has. But the gun is to say, rubbish, it's uh, no good unless you're in somebody's face. And if you find yourself caught in any kind of long range plinking match, you're in serious trouble in Russian tanks. The, T10 is nice, it's fun, the Object 257 is, are really fun tanks, but I think this thing beats them hand down. Um, I would say, so far, of the tier 9s that I've played, certainly it's the best heavy tank. Um, possibly the pattern is actually more fun. But I haven't given it the same kind of time and dedication that I have to the E75, but I think the E75 is an excellent tank. And I've had a great fun with it, and I will definitely be keeping it. Uh, I don't actually see myself being in an awful hurry to go for the E100. Just always struck me as too ponderous. Um, and I'll probably play it at some stage because, you know, you just have to, just to see what it's like. So we came number one by experience, did 4.5k damage, got a first class mastery, and yes, the epitome of German tank philosophy, late war German tank philosophy, I think, although they never actually built it as far as I know, it's completely paper design. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like, if you've not already subscribed please do so, I will catch you all again soon, bye for now.